This is starting to make more sense here in the mouth. So I'm going to go in with this big charcoal, just restate this jaw, which is giving me a little problem. Just have to be careful with it. And the neck. Coming down here to define the shoulder. And I'm using, again, this negative space. I'm looking at the shape of the negative space to see what the shape is as it fits in to the shoulder and the neck. I have to redraw back now behind the neck. There maybe has have been a little shifting of the model. Perhaps there's been perhaps there's been just a bit of shifting of the model here. But that's okay and that's part of working from life. Models will shift. That's perfectly normal. Just need to lock into our drawing, not worry about that. Too much. And I'll use the eraser pencil to push out that edge. Make a note here, this edge. I'm also going to now to use the eraser pencil to go in very gently and just begin to look for a few highlights that will help land my drawing. The glasses. And there's a rim of light here. I can always move it or change it, but I'm looking and comparing where it is falling across the face. Acts sort of like a grid for me, I think. I hope it will. That little rim. There's a piece of light here that I've really loved right from the beginning that I've avoided until just this minute. And I want to make a note of it. A little piece of light sneaking out there. Some highlights in the glasses that are quite appealing. Glasses are fun to do. I love drawing glasses. Here in the ear there. It's a little piece of the glasses there. Now I'll take my pencil, charcoal pencil, and I'll draw some lines gently. I'm not quite sure about the placement, so I'm going to draw them very lightly. It'll help be a little grid for me. This one's a little lower, this one's a little higher. I think I'm somewhere in the middle of all this in reality. Little cast shadow there, it's lovely. Then the actual glasses there. And I'm going to take the chamois, soften this shadow. And I'm going to take a thin piece of willow charcoal, and I'm looking now for um, light middle tones. These are the little secondary shadows that are in the light that describe the flesh falling away from the cheekbone. Shadow of the beard. Now I'm going in and looking for the darkest darks in the shadows. So I'm pushing my values. The shadow, I have those two shapes, the shadow shape, the light shape. But now all of those shapes have to be broken into values too. I have to stay within my value range so that the darkest darks don't come up too light and the lightest lights don't go down too dark. But I still have to come up with the values within those shapes. And that's what I'm doing now. Kind of starting to 
you know, really abstractly almost squint my eyes down and placing the darks of the eyes. I don't want to get too fussy about where they are. I know they're too big. I know that's too broad of a statement. I'll carve around in there though later. Big bushy eyebrows. That's a trait of this model. I want to do that kind of thing too early. I'm just not ready for it. Now I can take the kneaded eraser and gently point it and gently drag it across all this charcoal. And I squint my eyes down again and start looking for that eyelid and the white of the eye, which by the way, is never white. Then I'll come in with that eyelid. Remember the eyelid is a hood that sits over the eyeball. So we draw the hood as it stretches over the eyeball, looking for that form there. By taking the pencil eraser, I'll look now for the rim of moisture there along the bottom of the eyelid, try to place it. Squinting my eyes down, looking at that. This takes a little while. We're detailing here. This is the, these are the details. These are what people try often to go for too early. I know I do sometimes. I don't think we're got some time here. Reestablish that highlight there with those glasses. And I'm going to move somewhere else now. Reestablish this lip. Get a little texture going here, just for fun. May have to move all this later, but we ought to be able to have a little fun here. Give myself a little treat. Okay, now let me stand back again and see where I need to make my changes. You know, I've got different levels going on the glasses, which there's a little bit of that going on with these glasses. That's okay, but not as much as what I'm stating. Okay, I'm gonna move the mouth, make the mouth a little less wide. Whenever I trimmed out this side of the head, I failed to move the mouth as well. Whoops, I can restate that now. Just a shadow shape. I'm gonna go through now and unify once again, this is a part of the redraw, of course, the uh, light dark shape. I see uh, a variation. I'm going to make a note of that. That is a reflection or a refracted light coming through here. I think it adds interest to the drawing. And I'm just going to rub that kneaded eraser across there gently, gently with hardly a bit of pressure and just kind of help unify that. Just drawing across with the, it's like painting really. I'm going to, as a part of the unifying, I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of the detail in this underplane of the nose. Gently, I'm barely using pressure here. I'm barely touching this drawing and it's just amazing. It's almost dangerous because it lifts so easily at this point. And so I'm just kind of pushing around. I'm drawing now with a kneaded eraser around the actual nostrils. Then I'll go in and be more specific with them. So I'm just sort of drawing around them. I can go back in and restate that. Gently rubbing here. This is sort of like blending, only I'm using an eraser. I know that's strange to hear, but it really is. 
like that. This is a tricky area. There's a little flesh right here, and I want to describe that. And it's frustrating when you're drawing because you see it as color. So to make this a little easier on myself, I like to use one of these red um, pieces of plexiglass. And I can hold it up to Fred, and it turns everything into you know, red and black but it also simplifies it into two values for me. And I can just sort of see how this complicated, subtle value area is working in the cheek. And so I'll go into that area. Once again, I think I need to restate some of these subtle shapes here in the jaw. This is very subtle. Push that ear back a bit. This is all very subtle in here, but it's so important these transitions are what can make and break um, a portrait. And then after I've done that, and just now I'm feeling a little more confident in being able to make a bigger statement here in the lips. You know, I had to move it over a little bit. I'm going to squint those eyes down again. And then there's an obvious break in the plane as it pulls away from the light. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.